Hey everybody, today I am going to show you how to use reference layers within Procreate, so then that way you're able to drag and drop colors into your line drawing without actually dropping them into your line drawing. So in that way you're able to keep all of your things separate on different layers, and you can do non-destructive editing. So the first thing that you're gonna wanna do is come up here to the Layers tab and start a new layer with the plus button up here. You're going to hold and drag the new layer below the layer that your line drawing is on. Now we can go over here, we can select a color, and we can start coloring beneath our outline. And it's not gonna destroy our outline because it is on a separate layer. But if we wanna drag and drop, it's gonna fill the entire page and it's not going to just go inside of a certain area of your outline. So all you're gonna to have to do is go up to your line drawing layer, double click it and select reference. You can tell that reference layer is on by it saying reference right here on the layer. So we're gonna go down here to our new layer with our new color and we can drag and drop within our outline now. So we're gonna fill in this rocket ship and I'm gonna show you a couple ways to use this. Now one thing you do have to keep in mind when using reference layers, if you go to drag and drop a color into an area like this, to where there isn't a complete outline, it is gonna bleed over into different areas of your drawing. So it will work within obviously here because it's a completed space. But in here, we're gonna drag and drop this blue into the background. It's also gonna go down here into the volcano and into the flames coming out of the back of the rocket, just because this is not a completed shape. Even as you can see down here, there's just a small gap in this outline to where it's not touching the flame in the cloud. If we go to drop it in there, it's gonna fully fill the cloud. But all we'd have to do to fix that is go on to our outline layer and we're able to complete that outline. So in that way, when we go over here to the reference layer, we can drag and drop within that area. So just keep that in mind. It will save you a lot of frustration. All right, now that I have my blue in there, I'm gonna start a new layer. And as long as that layer is underneath our reference layer, we can still drag and drop onto it. So we're gonna pick this red and we're going to fill the remaining areas of our rocket ship. I'm gonna do one more layer because I want to use black and I'm gonna do this also on a new layer. All right, now that we've filled in those areas of our rocket, it looks great. But the thing is, that looks like a flat image. So we do want to add some type of shading to give the rocket a little bit of shape. In my last Procreate video, I explained how to use Alpha Lock, Mask, and Clipping Masks. I'm not gonna do a full tutorial on that, but I will tell you we're gonna use Alpha Lock now. If you wanna go learn more all about those, I'll link that video up above in the corner so you can go check it out. But we're gonna select Alpha Lock on the red layer. What Alpha Lock does is it basically only lets you shade within the area that is on that layer. So now that Alpha Lock is on, you can see that there's this checkerboard on the layer preview, and we select a darker color, and we're going to select a soft brush. So you can see I'm shading outside of the red area and it's doing nothing. But as soon as I start shading inside of the red area, you can see that it's only affecting the red area. If we didn't have Alpha Lock on, this is what would happen. We can't shade inside of there, only we would have to come in here and be really specific and it just takes a lot of time. So we are going to turn on Alpha Lock. And now that we have Alpha Lock on, we're just gonna do some shading along the edge of the rocket to give it a little bit of shape. You can go as crazy as you want here to blend the colors and make it super nice and awesome. But for demonstration only, we will do that. Next, we're gonna go and do the same exact thing with the blue. We'll turn Alpha Lock on on that layer and we'll select the blue and just pick a darker tone of it and we'll do the same exact thing. All right, so there we go. Within just a few short minutes, we were able to use reference layers to drag and drop colors into our rocket. And then we used Alpha Lock to go and do a little bit of shading in there. So as you can tell, this can really speed up your drawing and art process by using these different features within layers. Like I said, you should definitely go check out the video that I talked about, masks, clipping masks, and alpha lock. I go into a, little, a lot more detail um, explaining how to use those. But if you have any questions, feel free to leave them down in the comments. If not, I hope this video was helpful to you, and I hope that you have a good day.